Hey miners, Rusty coming at you with another fixed blade review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cold Steel SRKC. So Cold Steel makes two versions of this knife. They make the SRK and the SRKC or compact. So this one's a little shorter by about it mm, I think maybe an inch or so. Uh, I went with the compact. It's going to be enough knife for me. Cold Steel um, really liking that brand of viewer mine, Frog Frog. Got his own channel there, guys. Freedom Frog. Freedom Frog Gear. Check him out. I've given a shout out to him before. Anyways, he likes cold steel. So, kind of went like this. I saw this knife. I've seen the reviews. Everybody just loves this knife. And they talk about, you know, the reliability, durability. Did come with some oil on the blade and uh, it stays in the sheath there pretty well oiled and you are taking a look at the SRKC forget what this handle material is but it's real nice um, it's got a real neutral handle you know ergos uh, real grippy rubber type feeling no jimping little bit of a sharpening choil on there it is a coated blade and this steel is what's known as SK5. They make this knife with some San Mai, some other types of steel. I uh, did some research on the uh, SK5 steel and it's a pretty interesting steel. It's got about 9% carbon which is the same as some 1095. It's very similar to 1095 in that it's not a stainless steel. That's uh, probably why we got the coating and the oil. So it's one of those high carbon steels. Uh, it does have some other ingredients, some copper and sulfur. And this, you can actually get a hardness I saw, like reading some knife nerd type stuff. Uh, forget the sites I like to go to. And it can get up to 65 HRC. And I'll tell you that that is hard. I'll also tell you when you go with hardness you can lose some toughness. So you want this one, you maybe you don't want it to be quite at 65 because this is going to be brittle. If you guys understand what that means, that means if we're doing any prying or something, hard is going to equal better edge retention and tough is going to equal better batoning and so on. So hopefully they got this one just right where you got a good balance of edge retention and toughness. And everything I was reading, about the only thing on here that the quality that's kind of not real well liked is sharpenability. So uh, once you do sharpen it, they talk about having a fine grain structure. In other words, takes a keen edge or you can get it to a sharp edge. So, not sure what kind of coating this is. That'll help keep the knife, you know, uh, from rusting. Should have grabbed my magnet. Not 100% sure if this is a full tang. And I'm not 100% sure what kind of grind this is. Feels Oh, it feels like a very shallow, hollow grind. So, well, let's break out, do some sharpness tests here. What are we looking at today? Okay, we got some people kind of down there doing some work in the afterlife. And looks like the devil pointing at something here. He says, hey, 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 who's the wise guy that just turned down the thermostat? So, yeah, all right. You're gonna be hell to pay for that one. How do they do? Cold steel. Oh boy. Yep, I'm liking that one. Yes. Very nice. Okay. So, doing pretty good with the sharpness test. Thank you, cold steel. How about a peanut? You guys are just waiting for me to cut myself, aren't you? All right, getting her done there too. So Rusty's happy with that. I guess for those of you who do have a do like lanyards, uh, we got a lanyard 
uh, whatever you call that, kind of a button or, you know, it's a tube carries it through and I'm just now noticing kind of wondering about what that that tube got pushed in there a little too far but anyway that's what we're looking at for the SRK take a closer look at that sheath I did order a Civivi clip so I could carry this uh, you know horizontally if I want to and I can tell you that really all this strap on top is doing is just holding that knife upright so when we take and clip that on it doesn't you know if you're carrying it like this and I can see here you got this little buttons for quick release you don't have to undo your your belt to get into that so you got anything else there Rusty well I I do and I don't uh, the only other knife I can think of that I got with uh, 1095 steel is a Schrade. That's a Schrade SCH36, I believe is the model number on this. And it has a TPE handle. Might be the same kind of texture. It's rubberized. Got a nylon sheath here, the Velcro. So I do have a video out on this one. Got a button on there. Got a coated blade. Rusty kept this one oiled as well. 1095 steel. So going to be pretty similar. Got a forward finger choil. And let's see. I did put an edge on this one after I got it from Schrade. But boy is she a fit. Alright. Very happy with that. I found the 1095 uh, easy to sharpen. So hopefully we can get some easiness out of this, but they're different knives. Uh, this one is, look at the thickness on that blade there. Okay, when we're looking at this one, you know, this you can use for a hunting knife. You could process a deer with this. You could probably use this for some batoning. Very multi-purpose. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know how much you're going to want. It's not going to be your field dressing knife. All oh, that great. With that finger choil, you could probably do some stuff afterwards. Uh, pretty big knife looking at it this way. So, that's what we're looking at. I probably brought that out just because of the materials. It runs about the same kind of money, probably in the mid 30s for this. By the way, I paid 35, 36 dollars for that one. So can't really complain. Of course, we got the, the Mora. You guys are into giving an idea of what the Mora. That's a pretty well-known knife there. For size comparison so we're looking at a, a longer blade I think this blades gonna be just the right size I know a lot of you guys like the longer blades but I'm happy with with this size here so, it's really about all I got on the cold steel SRK dash C SK 5 steel thanks for watching